Hello, Creative Gems. Welcome to Creativity. How is everyone today? I'm Sandy, and today I'm going to show you how to repurpose old picture frames into a beautiful serving tray or vanity tray. To start, I will list out the materials. And unless otherwise stated, all the materials for this DIY is from Dollar Tree or Dollarama. The picture frames I have chosen are 11 by 14, since I want to make a large tray. If you don't mind a smaller tray, you can opt for smaller frames. Although I will be using four picture frames for my tray, you could actually make this tray with only three frames if you don't want to stack it as tall as mine. You will see later what I mean. We will also need some silver diamond rhinestone wrap. This roll was purchased from Amazon, but the dollar store sells similar ones in smaller quantities. We will also need a 16 pack of small silver Christmas ornament balls. These ones have a chrome like finish. We will also be using a sheet of chunky glitter fabric. If you don't have any, you can also substitute with either silver glitter paper or any sheet of paper with a pretty design you like. To help us with today's craft project, we will also need some white paint, or in my case, since my picture frames are dark brown, I will be opting to use some leftover primer. We will also need some white glue and our handy dandy glue gun. My glue gun was purchased from Amazon. To begin, disassemble all the picture frames and put everything aside except for the frames themselves. Then paint all of the frames white. The best part about this step is that the paint job does not have to be perfect. You just need to cover the frame enough so the dark color doesn't show through. And while we work on that, I would like to take a moment to thank all the returning viewers to my channel for tuning in for today's craft project. If you are visiting for the first time, I would like to extend a warm welcome to you. And if you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, I would love it if you would support my channel by hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified of my future DIY craft videos. Once all the frames are painted and dried, turn each upside down and using your fingers, gently push down the tabs on the back of each frame. Then it's time to stack two of the frames together. For this, I will be applying some hot glue along the top of one frame and then placing a second frame directly on top. Then measure out the diamond wrap to cover all four sides of the stacked frame. And here is what it should look like. Then take a third frame and repeat the same steps to wrap the frame. Now for the fourth frame, we will need to take the cardboard backing it came with and cover the front side with the glitter fabric. Once you have the fabric or paper measured out, 
Cut it out and adhere it to the front side of the cardboard backing with a generous amount of white glue. Once it is fully dried, place the glass and cardboard backing into the fourth frame with the glitter paper facing upwards to the glass. Then repeat the previous step by measuring and cutting out the diamond wrap to adhere onto this fourth frame. Next, take the Christmas ornaments and remove the caps and snip off the tip. The reason we want to do this is so we can prepare the balls to lay flat on the picture frames. We use some hot glue to place the ornaments onto the double stacked frame, one on each corner. Then we turn the double stack frame upside down and repeat with another four ornaments, one on each corner, and then spacing out two more along the length of each side.
The final step is to place the frame with the glass below the double stacked frame and the empty frame above the double stacked frame. And here's the final look for our large glam serving tray. This tray is huge. Comment down below and let me know if you think I should use this as a serving tray for guests or whether I should place it in my washroom as a vanity tray to hold perfume bottles or jewelry. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share with other creative gems. Also, remember to hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload another DIY glam project. I hope to see you all soon!